Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. So nowadays I'm exploring the Airbus A320 Neo by Enables and in this regard I'm making a series of videos so that I can just cover all the information related to a flight for this plane into different videos. So far I have uploaded videos which include how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly this plane on autopilot, eyeless approach and landing, RNP approach or RNAV approach and now in this video I will tell you how to uh, basically select the alternate airport. If you look at your screens right now I have a sim brief uh, flight plan and in this sim brief flight plan I'm going from Qatar to Dubai as you can see it on your screens. Now the alternate airport for this uh, flight is Abu Dhabi International Airport. Now you can see this uh, dotted line which is taking me uh, to Abu Dhabi. Now um, let's say in case of any issues I want to go to the alternate airport how I will do this. Right now there's a constraint of 4000 feet over here. Let me just uh, pass this uh, constraint. I think there's no other constraint afterwards and there is a straight climb. Now there is another constraint flight level 210. So I will climb up to 210. Let me just adjust the altitude. And now I can just go in the manage mode. The plane will actually follow this constraint and then it will go. Now at any point I can just decide whether I want to go to Abu Dhabi or Dubai. Now if you look at your screens you will see that for this alternate airport uh, this um, um, plan for the Abu Dhabi International Airport starts when the flight ends. But the runway is there uh, whatever the runway currently being used is selected. So I can just go to Abu Dhabi from any of the waypoints which are there in my flight plan because you know you can just decide to change your flight plan at any time. So let's say if I want to go from this point, go to, go to your flight plan and in the flight plan, you will see this waypoint. Exactly, it's here. So if I click this option, uh, the fourth left soft key, then you will see this option coming, enable alternate. And if I click this, the alternate airport will be enabled. And now the flight plan has changed. Now you can see the destination has changed to Abu Dhabi. But interestingly, after Godki, there is a flight discontinuity. And uh, then Abu Dhabi is just like uh, sh shown over here as a dot. No approach, no arrival. So now you can select the approach and the arrival. Now if I click the destination and if I click arrival, I can select the runway. So for the runway, it's uh, 30 left for, no, uh, let me just get the operational flight plan, which is 31 left for Abu Dhabi. So ILS 31 left, which is over here. Now there are three points over here. I can select any of the stars. Let me just uh, get the flight plan on the screens because you will be using this and uh, uh, my departure was Hamad International Airport Qatar and arrival is Abu Dhabi. Now I have a new arrival. Now with this, I can look at the charts for Abu Dhabi and uh, for the approaches, uh, 31 left. Just select this approach. Now this is your approach from Pegum or from Itwin. These are the transition points where your arrival will end and the approach will start. Now we have to select the arrival. So let's select the arrival for 31 left. And uh, I will just look at this arrival procedure. Let me just change the orientation of the. Now you can see that uh, I only have option of ATUD 4B, ATUD 4D and uh, ELOV 2B. So ELOVU, uh, -E <laughs> good one. Uh, 3C is here and uh, 2B is not there. Maybe it's in the other chart. Let's uh, have a look at it. So even the 2B is not even here on this chart. It's 2D. I can even select 2D. But uh, right now I will be somewhere here. Uh, the best one would have been uh, GitHub 1D or slash 2M. 
but I don't have this option. So I have to select you know from these three. Now if I select Elov, uh, then the plane will go all the way here and then it will just go for the approach. But right now, uh, this is a good point. I can, I'm, I'm somewhere here. Can I see it on the map? No, <laughs> it actually appears that's why I was looking for it. So I can use this one because you know, um, I will, I'm, I'm just way before these points. So I can go to this point, ATU D for D. So let's select this one and uh, just insert and see if there is any discontinuity now you can see there's a flight discontinuity i can just get rid of it and i can just scroll through the flight plan there is another discontinuity with the manual so let's uh, clear the manual and let's clear the discontinuity and that's it so now the flight plan has changed now you can see the complete arrival and approach procedure for abu dhabi international airport is here i can change it to plan and then I can just zoom in and I can just see. And that's it. So whatever the option I had, I used that in order to have a new alternate airport. Let me just... Uh now if you look at your screens, it is just like the one which was here. So at this point, ATU DO, I will go to this point ITU Geo and uh, below 9000 feet as you can see there is a line above it and from here I'll just proceed with the approach and line. So that's how you select an alternate airport and um, you land the plane. There is a bonus content in this video. Let's say you want to go back to the way. <laughs> you just change your mind. So you can do one thing. So at any point over here in this flight plan, let's say go, uh, it's the same point I'll use this one code key. And um, I will use a new destination that will be OMDB. And that's it. And for the runway, as per the flight plan, it was 30 left. Arrival, ILS 30 left. And uh, we use TEB 3D. Oh, it's not showing me because it's as per Abu Dhabi, so I can use any of these. Let's say I select this arrival. And there is a discontinuity. I can just clear it. And uh, let's see. Now Dubai is there. That's it. It's amazing. So you can just uh, change your flight plan. Let me just uh, zoom in. And let's see. So from here, the plane will just go like this and land at runway 30 left. So that's how you modify the plane for the alternate. And if you just want to go back uh, to your original destination, you can do it. I hope uh, this was a useful video for you. Now you will be able to do it with this Enables Airbus A320neo in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. If you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.